In recent months, Kenya has been buying main supplies from Uganda, but the country is also experiencing lower than expected harvests, thus reducing the surplus available for export. Tanzania, another source of maize for Kenya, recently imposed stringent license requirements, including new levies, making it harder to buy the grain from the southern neighbor. This saw the National Treasury in June approve a 90-day window for duty-free importation of maize. The move, however, resulted in a negligible reduction in cost of maize flour that saw it retail at a historic high of 200 shillings per 2 kilogram packet. To correct this, the government has rolled out a subsidy to millers that will see maize flour prices for a 2 kilogram packet reduced to 100 Kenya shillings. As a result of the subsidy, maize flour prices will retail as follows. 500 grams will now go for 30 shillings, 1 kilogram at 52 Kenya shillings, 2 kilogram at 100, 5 kgs at 250 Kenya shillings, 10 kilograms at 440 Kenya shillings, and 50 kilograms at 2,250. The subsidy will however be on a period of four weeks and overseen by the Minister of Agriculture, as well as National Treasury, Cereal Mill Association, and Grain Mill Owners Association, by which the country will have held its elections and a new government will be in waiting. An escrow account at the Central Bank of Kenya shall be opened and operated by the Agriculture Ministry to ensure payments are made as stipulated in the contract to facilitate the subsidy. The Agriculture Ministry further shall station its representatives at the premises and depots of millers to verify proof of sale of maize flour into the market. They will rely on invoices to the millers' customers for the flour being sold and delivery. Majibu Kitsao K24 TV, Nairobi.